everyone, it's Leslie again. I want to show you today um, two of my very favorite accessories to paint in. And that would be the water bottle and the oiler boiler. And um, the reason these are so great is because I'm a big fan of letting water paint for me. And these guys uh, help me do that. Um, so I'm just using a Terra skin paper right now because I didn't have to prepare it at all. It's a plastic paper with um, limestone on top and it accepts all media without warping. You can also roll it and it'll flatten back again so it's pretty awesome. I'm using fluid acrylics. Um, you can use watercolor as well. Because the tools, the oiler boiler and uh, and spray bottles obviously will work for both. Okay. Now what I love about this is you can spray this and um, and move through the paint, so you can allow it to flow. I've got way too much water on here. And it's tilted, so it's spreading all over the place. So the U, uh, sorry, the Terra skin is very non-absorbent, so you get a very different effect on watercolor, which I'm gonna grab because this isn't working to show you how these work the best. So anyway, put on Terra skin, so big flow but it's not showing you exactly what I want to. So, so I just want to show you this. I just poured all this off. Uh, the Quinn Magenta is staining, so it's stained. But um, I just rinsed this off with water and I can use this again. So, okay. so, right there, skin. so this is a 140 pound cold press watercolor paper. I needed something a little more absorbent to show you um, how the oiler boilers work. So as the, um, as the paint works out, you can clear out areas and actually have flows and use the water to um, help you create your design. Okay, I'm a big fan of oiler boilers because they can move the paint around. Um, they get it out of your way and they can create lots of plumes and they help in these kind of um, uncontrollable washes to, to, to make way for a new color to, to come in. So they can really help you direct what you're doing and without putting in brush strokes, which um, tend to make marks on the paper instead of these pleasant plumes. Now, when you add the spray, you actually start to disturb the pigments underneath. And that was a half spray. Like on these bottles, there's a half spray portion that sends out a coarse um, speckled spray, which really helps if you want to do spattering or any kind of really texturized, um, texturized work. You can also spray edges. So it'll start to plume out and follow these coarse sprays and it won't come out in a full uh, wash like it's doing here. It comes out speckled and coarse. You can also go in, and this is acrylic, so and you like it's working exactly like watercolor. Um, you can do this on a canvas with an absorbent ground. Golden has an absorbent ground, which allows the canvas to become more absorbent. That's why it's called absorbent ground. 
Um, but you can see what's happening here. It's starting to get all textured. As this dries, just before it dries permanently, I'm going to come in and do a coarse spray over top and it's going to disturb the pigment so it's going to end up being kind of speckled. Okay. Okay, I just drew a line in it that's going to allow this to flow more. So you have to experiment, of course, with drying times and that kind of stuff. But these two together are two of my favorite accessories. And uh, I'm going to scan this and show you on the website. So this is kind of what you can do with boiler boilers and spray bottles. My favorite. Hey, thanks for watching.